welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I posted a video, but thank you guys so much for the love on my previous video. If you've not seen it, it will be linked at the very end of this one. But today we're going to be filming a get ready with me. You guys love these kind of videos and it is my grandparents' 60th wedding anniversary this weekend. So I thought I would film a makeup and outfit idea for just kind of like a summary party guest event that you might have that I thought would be appropriate and everything is linked down below, including the outfit as well. As is a get ready with me, I'm not going to be talking too, too much about the products, but I am using a bunch of new products. So if I'm using a new product, I'm sure I will mention it and talk about it. Like I said, everything is linked down below for you guys to find. There are some influencer collabs, like my friends collabs, which I'm so excited to try. We've got the new Benefit Brow Contour, Nars Mascara, all sorts of good stuff. So if you want to stick with me through this journey of this to this, then make sure you stay tuned, but don't forget to like this video already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad. And this week's post notification bell shout out goes to Ellie Patterson who says, post notifications are on, love from Cardiff. Thank you so much, Ellie, and thank you so much to everyone that always comments on my videos. It doesn't go unnoticed. But without further ado, I feel like let's just get cracking with the get ready with me. So let's get ready together. Okay, so it's very, very hot right now. And I've got my hair in like a, wow, I look weird. I got my hair in like a side part today. Let's just curl it. Popped in a side part for something a little bit different and sophisticated. I really have got to put like some sort of fan on. Okay, I'm gonna talk like extra loudly in the sense that I really hope that that fan noise isn't annoying. I'm literally not even gonna be able to continue if I don't have a fan on right now under these lights, God damn it. Okay, so the first product that we're going to be using is actually new, I think. This is the new Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer. Now, I know she already had a primer, but I swear that was like the matte one and this one's the new one, or is the matte one new and this one's old? Regardless, I'm going to be using this today. You guys know I love to apply my primers with a brush, and this is the Blank Canvas Cosmetics MF38 brush. I love their brushes. You guys know I'm obsessed. And this is part of their marble collection. I do have a video using this coming very soon on my Instagram if you want to see more of the brushes in action and just like kind of a bit more of a close-up of what this brush looks like. I'm literally like obsessed. Okay, now that's done, I always find using like a corresponding brand foundation is the best way for those two products to work together. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty foundation today in Trey Lachey. Trey Lachey's. I can never pronounce this. Trey Lachey's. Something like that. Whoa. You hardly need any of that foundation. And I'm going to be taking this new sponge from Ofra. You can use the code on the screen for discount if you guys are interested. And I'm just gonna be dabbing that into my skin. This is also a great foundation for events because it looks amazing in pictures. It literally lasts all day. It's super full coverage, but like I said, when you can use a sponge, it does kind of like sure it out slightly and you can always build up if you want that. Super duper coverage. <laughs> but as I said in the intro, I didn't manage to post a video on Sunday just cause I had such a busy week and then I was away on holiday last week with my friends, which was so nice to just have a holiday where it's not a work trip or anything like that. It was nice to just have a little bit of a break. If you guys didn't know, I went to Gran Canaria, which was lush. I've never been there before. And if you guys don't like flying, but you wanna go to like a tropical place, that journey is it's four hours but the journey is literally like straight down if you're from kind of like the London area, which my friends and I really appreciated. I mean, I don't mind flying or like, tur I mean, I don't not like turbulence. I mean, I don't love turbulence is what I mean, but I don't like mind it because I kind of understand what it is. But my friends like really, really hate flying and they were just like, that was like the best flight ever. So keep that in mind if you're interested. But yeah, we just had a week of just like chilling on the beach, having a bit of girl time, eating, drinking. It was honestly just like so nice to have a little bit of a break. Obviously while I was away, a new video did go up on Wednesday, which was the Beauty Gurus pick my amazing 
makeup video, which I'm so glad you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to clear a few things up because while I was away, oh, by the way, this is the Revolution Fast Pace Concealer. While I was away, there was a little bit of drama. A beauty influencer called me out on supposedly copying their idea. I just wanted to get one thing straight. Um, number one, just because I follow you, it doesn't mean I watch all your videos. I might follow you for different reasons. Two, if I was inspired by someone, especially someone that I thought I was friends with, I have absolutely no reason to not credit them if I was inspired by them, which in this instant, I wasn't. Three, I in no way said that I came up with that idea. I kind of assumed it had probably already been done considering the trends that have been going on at the moment. And from the videos that I'd seen where people had done similar stuff, no one had inserted videos and stuff. And that was the kind of concept I was basing on. Like I wasn't inspired by anyone to do that kind of element of the video which is why no one was mentioned. However, the actual video I was inspired by was James Charles's video um, where YouTubers picked his Christmas presents or like something like that and I actually told him that when I asked him to be part of my video and he obviously and he had nothing like negative to say in the sense that he thought I was copying him or anything he was really excited to be part of the video and you just kind of have to think like it's such a shame like okay have your five minutes of like Twitter drama and stuff like that was so unnecessary especially from someone that I actually really respected and I thought we were like not like friends because we've never met, but like we've DM'd a few times and it's been fine. It was just so, so unnecessary. And then the fact that the tweets all got deleted, it kind of just made me think like, what what was the point in that? Literally, you, it, 10 minutes of like drama, all of your followers came for me, like, thanks. Like, do you know what I mean? If you, if you thought I'd copied your idea, why don't you just message me about it and say like, hey, did you realize I'd done that video a few months ago? Don't know if you were inspired by me, but if you were, it'd be great if you could like add some credit somewhere. I totally would have done it if, I, if I'd been inspired by you or like at least given me the opportunity to explain myself. <laughs> I don't know, it was really stupid. I don't want to like bring air to a situation that's kind of been diffused already, but I just thought it was so unnecessary and like dumb. I'm not a dramatic person. I don't live for the drama like some people and it, it just, I don't know, it was just so uncalled for. Anyway, moving on, I'm just gonna set my under eyes with good old Laura. Wow, I'm so glad I got that in my hair. Lovely. <laughs> Love you. Okay, moving on to bronzer. I'm just taking the Too Faced Chocolate Golden Bronzer. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which you guys know, I love a shimmery bronzer. And I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, so if you prefer more matte, switch out, go for a kind of like warm matte shape. I do have a contour palette that I'm gonna be using, so I just want a little bit of shimmer on my face. You know, I think it looks super pretty. And this smells so effing treffing good. I wanna eat it. But yeah, just buffing that into the skin. Oh my god, I was going through my DMs the other day and so many of you messaged me to go, Hi Rachel, um, Love Island Australia has just been on, uh, is on ITV if you didn't know and I like actually didn't know that it was on. Thank you so much, I literally watched the first episode last night and I do believe that the next episode is on today tonight actually I think. So I think it's on like Wednesdays which is a shame, it's not on every day but what can you do? Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be contouring today and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be using the, oh, can't see. The Imogen or the Imin, 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 the Imin, can I fucking say it? Imagination Revolution collab. This is only one of her collabs. I am using the other one as well. This is her Highlight to the Moon uh, contour and highlighter palette. I'm gonna be taking the shade Warrior to highlight, no, I'm not. Imagine that as a highlight. I'm gonna be taking that to contour and I'm gonna be mixing like all the shades together to highlight in a mo. So let's get cracking. Whoa, it's a good brush. So like I said, just taking that middle warrior contour shade. I love the fact that Revolution collaborate with so many influencers. I'm so excited to see who else they collab with. Like, that's just like the most perfect subtle cheekbone I've just been given. And again, this brush is the Blank Canvas MF08. It's from that same set. I'm loving these kind of kabuki brushes to contour, almost the round top. They just blend 
so easily into the skin like any product that applied you can use it with creams but i'm just i'm loving the effect of using them with powders i don't want anything too heavy and this just applies the like right amount so yeah just down my nose it like instantly buffs it like away the jaw as well i'm looking chiseled i'm obsessed with this imogen i can't wait to try the highlighters if you're watching this I'm so proud of you. Okay, moving on to the blush. I've been loving these recently as well. This is the Rimmel Maxi Blush in Sweet Cheeks. It's like the most gorgeous peachy kind of color. This is just like my favorite color blusher ever. It's so complimentary on like all skin tones. I think a peachy undertone just really brings like a lot of subtle flush and a lot of youth to the skin. And this is the same style of brush that I used earlier for my primer, but I have it again. I have the brush set twice and I just use this for blusher. I feel like Duo fiber brushes are really great for powders. They just add like a small flush and I don't know, I just love the bristles on this one for like everything. Okay, so before I highlight my skin, I always like to do my brows first. And we're gonna be using the Benefit Brow Contour Pen today. I'm so excited to try this. When I saw this, I was like, <gasps> That's a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and do one brow off camera to save some time. Then I'll be back to show you the brow pen in action on my other brow. Okay, so I went ahead and did one brow. And I'm just like so impressed with this. So it comes with two shades. One darker shade, one lighter shade. And then I think they have like five shades of the brow pencil, if that makes sense. Mine might be the darkest one. This is the like brown black shade. And then it has a definition shade, which is like a concealer shade. And then a highlighter shade, which is just like a little bit more of a a shimmery light color to highlight you underneath your brow bone. So first of all, we're gonna take the deep shade and you just click it down and then you twist the pen. So a little bit comes out up the top of the nib. And I'm just gonna be kind of doing the end of my brow because that's kind of the effect that I always go for. It's always darker at the end. And this pen is just like so pigmented right off the bat makes it so easy to like extend your brow if you're like me and you have to kind of draw on like a lot more so it like shows up. You guys know I'm already a massive fan of the brow pencil that they already have. The Precisely My Brow Pencil is like my favorite brow pencil ever. So I was super excited to try this and they obviously have like some of the best brow products out there. So I felt like I wasn't gonna be disappointed. But I'm now gonna click down the lighter shade, give it a bit of a twist and work my way to the front of the brow. Just tracing the bottom, brushing the color through, and then going upwards with the pencil. You guys know I like to mimic the appearance of brow hairs and kind of just like feather it through. Like so, it is worth mentioning that this is a very pigmented pencil, and if you do have a spoolie, it's really worth just kind of like brushing the product through to get it really just kind of looking its best. Like already that looks like, not that it looked bad before, but it just smooths it all out. Looks like 10 times better. And then once you're happy with the shape, I'm gonna go underneath with the definer shade, which is the concealer shade and just really carve it out. I love that it's like a pen so you can be super precise. Go right underneath that brow. I am gonna take a brush just to be able to like drag it down and blend it out. Yes, I'm obsessed with the way that these are looking right now. And finally, I'm just gonna take the highlighter shade and just kind of place that directly underneath the arch of my brow, just for a little extra highlight, blend it down, set it in place with gimme brows. You guys know I love this stuff. Just really makes your brows appear a lot fuller, set everything in place, adds a little bit of like a tone and color to it. Brows are complete. I'm obsessed with that product. I think it's so cool. I've left it links down below because it is now available at Boots, so you can try it there. Feeling so deep in my feelings. Okay, so to complete the skin, I'm going back into the Imogen and Revolution palette, and I'm gonna mix the the Slay. I'm gonna just gonna try the shade Slay My Life to start with as our highlighter shade. My cheekbones. Oh my god, so. Pretty. Yes, I'm just gonna do it down my nose and cupid's row. Now we are done with the skin, we can move on to the eyes. And we're gonna be going a little bit more like yellowy mustard tones today, hence the outfit to tie it all together. So 
let's go. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be going for more of like a mustardy gold kind of eye look. And I'm going to be taking, again, the Imogen Revolution collab, this time the eyeshadow palette, and working my way through the matte shade. So I'm going to start off with the shade Honeybee, which is this one right here. Just taking it on a big fluffy brush and blending it into the crease. This is like my favorite shade of crease color because it always kind of like continuously shows out between like when you build up the colors and you guys know I just love orangey shades in general. If I ever made a palette I definitely would have to include a shade like this. It's just the perfect transition color to start off any eyelet. To further deepen I'm going to be taking the shade Mills which is right here just to kind of further deepen up the crease still keeping it super light and warm. To further deepen again I'm just going to be taking this shade right here I think it's called like Shoppy? Just here. And this is more of that kind of like mustardy brown shade which I like love on looks like this. It like deepens the crease but it doesn't add too much darkness and depth. I'm just buffing that back and forth, kind of really kind of gonna cut out the crease. So just kind of taking it all the way in and all the way out and then just buffing it in to the outer corner. So as you can see, I just went ahead and carved out the crease. I just used the concealer that I used on my face earlier, nothing fancy. And now I'm taking this new product from Hourglass. This is their Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Foil. It looks like this. It's like a gorgeous, really like mustard gold color. When I saw it, I was just like, oh my god, this is perfect for events like this. And the brush that I use to apply this is the MAC, is it the 242? It's like the little ginger brush. This is like the best to apply products like this. It really just packs on the loose foil. I love it for any kind of like loose, loose shadow product. This is like a little bit messy, but don't worry if you've set your face, it'll all just kind of like brush away. So don't be frightened or scared by the fallout. So I'm just gonna place that all over where I place the concealer. The concealer really helps to like, for it to like latch on, which is kind of why I always like to carve out the crease before applying any sort of loose product, like a pigment or something like this. I'm just going to take my powder brush and ooh, just all of that loose glitter away. And then I'm just going back in with the brush that I used to apply that shoppy shade just to kind of redefine that crease. And then I'm going to go back in with that Mills shade, which was the orange one, and just kind of place that right in the middle of the transition between crease and lid to add that pop of orange and warmth back in. And that's literally it. Like I'm obsessed with how easy that was for one and just the way that it looks in general. I think this is such an easy eye look. I'm just gonna take that Mills shade again and actually kind of mix it between the shoppy shade too and just connect it all together by buffing underneath the eye. Okay, and then finally for eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the shade Angel, which is literally just the pale shimmery gold in that eyeshadow palette and just pop it in my inner corner to brighten that area as well. Pow, that looks so good right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a mascara and I'm gonna be taking the new NARS Climax Mascara. This packaging though, is insane and the brush looks like this. So I'm just gonna be applying a light coat of this because we are gonna be going in with falsies for this look. But obviously if you guys just want mascara, you can stop here with the eyes. Ooh, this mascara is definitely one for just kind of making your lashes look really light and fluffy and separated. I feel like it's a very buildable mascara if you want that drama. Yes, to the separated lashes. I literally I cannot do a bottom lash mascara on a camera, but as you can see, they're just super separated and look really nice. So I'm now gonna go ahead and apply lashes. Guys, I've never tried this style of their lash before, but I am obsessed. These are from Unicorn Lashes. They do some of my favorite lashes. They're so fluttery. They, they just kind of end up looking like eyelash extensions, like super natural and fluffy. These are in the style Apple Sours. They just have a gorgeous fluffy wing to them. I'm so excited to try them on. So I'm going to pop these on now and show you the finished look. So these are the eyes with the lashes on. A super quick and easy eye look to do, but I feel like it's so effective. It's gonna look so gorgeous in pictures as well. And these lashes went on so easy. I feel like they just add the perfect amount of drama, but they still look super natural and fluffy. But now let's move on to the lip, which I'm so excited 
though, because it is a, another collab, which I know you guys are going to be obsessed with, so let's go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips first, and for that I'm going to use the MAC Oak Lip Liner. Okay, now that boring part is out of the way, but that lip liner is literally one of my favourites. When I used to work there, that was literally like the liner that I wore all the time. It just is so great for making your lips look a little bit fuller, if you guys like that look too. But now for the lipstick, I'm going to be taking the MAC Jamie Genevieve collab, which is literally insane to me. I'm so proud of you, Jamie. That's literally every makeup artist and influencer's dream, I feel like, especially because a lot of us used to work there, so it was must be so surreal to have your lipstick out. I can't remember if Jamie actually worked at MAC or if it was another counter. She may have worked at MAC. I can't remember, but just to have a lipstick with MAC, MAC lipsticks are so iconic anyway, is insane. And obviously it was going to be a nude in my most recent video. I asked her to pick me out a lipstick because she's the queen of a nude lipsticks. I haven't even like swatched this yet. It's a satin finish, which I'm obsessed with. That's literally one of my favorite finishes. I love a glossy lip. I love a matte lip, but the mix of them both in between is just like dreamy. So let's go ahead and apply. Is that not just the perfect nude combo? Oh my god, so comfortable on the lip as well because it is that gorgeous satin finish. Jamie, you should be so proud of this lipstick. I feel like that combination together looks amazing. It's going to be super wearable for this look as well and will most probably be my go-to lipstick from now on. I'm obsessed with this look. It is very me. And now we're finished. So this is the finished makeup look element of this video. A super wearable look to go with any outfit. I'm using products that are gonna last all day as well. So perfect for events. No gloss on the lips today, because just because I feel like having that one lipstick is so much easier to top up, especially if you're gonna be eating and drinking. But now it is time for the outfit part of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get changed out of this dressing gown and into my outfit and I can show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. You can kind of see the colour pattern of what I'm wearing here but I have inserted obviously a video so you can fully see the outfit. It's just this striped skater dress from Misguided and I paired it with a pair of white trainers from Boohoo so both super super affordable and just really casual for like a daytime summer event. So like I said I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and the outfit. Everything is linked down below. I especially love the way that this is like cup. It's like super loose fitting and flattering and perfect for this hot weather because I can't be wearing anything too tight. If, uh, if you guys knew the struggle of this video, like whew, I hope you guys appreciate it and enjoyed it. If you did, I would really love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. But until then, I hope you guys have an amazing evening and the rest of the week and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!